Harold J. Levitt developed Levitt's diamond model in 1965. Today it is one of the most widely used models to get an overview of how an organizational change will be most effective. According to Levitt's diamond model, the best way is to split the organization into four components. The four components are Tasks, also sometimes called goals Structure Technology People, also sometimes called employees These four components are distinct from each other but at the same time, there is an interaction between them. The four components make up the entire organization. The surroundings can of course also affect the organization, and thereby the individual components. Now follows an explanation of each of the four components. Tasks In most cases, it's about the goods and services that an organization sells. There are exceptions. Public organizations are not living by selling goods and services. Their task is to deliver goods and services to the people. For that purpose, we are paying taxes. Structure this is the formal patterns such as the organization of labor. Decision-making structure, what the COO must decide contra the CFO. How is communication patterns? Are you allowed to see all documents? Or are there restrictions in relation to the position you possess? Technology. It's beyond information technology also buildings, refurbishment of premises, the machines that are in the organization and the associated workflows. You could say that it is about both hardware and software, as it also deals with the IT programs, which today is everywhere. People also often called employees. Overall, it is the people associated with the organization in such a high degree that they are part of the organization's culture. An organization is affected by many factors. These occur in the organization, as well as outside and into the organization. But whether they come from inside or outside, the organization is affected. You must imagine the organization as a living organism that continuously adapts to both internal changes and external influences. Here are some examples that you probably have heard of. They will be placed in Levitt's model. New IT system such as a new logistic IT program. It is placed in the component technology. It may affect component people. The employees in the Department of Logistics need to be trained to handle a new program. Changing legislation. It is clearly placed in the surrounding world. New speed limits does not affect the organization. But if it's new rules about a longer maternity leave, then it affects the component people. But it will also influence the component structure. The organization shall ensure to place employees so that all tasks are completed. Restructuring of the organization must of course be placed in the component structure. It affects component people. 
as employees are moved around the organization. Laying off an employee. It is certainly the component people. But then it becomes the component structure, when tasks are distributed among fewer employees. And then we are back in component people. The remaining employees has to work harder. New rules for paying wet. It comes from the surrounding world. And at first it affects the component tasks. This of course is changed. This affects the component people. Since the employees must familiarize themselves with the new rules. And it will probably affect the component structure as there will be new work processes. The employee's level of education. It is part of the component people. The level of education affects both the component tasks and the component structure. The higher the education level of the employees, the more complicated tasks and responsibilities we can give to the employees. And this has an impact on how decisions should be made. And this is determined in the component structure. The employee's personality. Here we are talking, just like in the previous example, about the component people. It is not just the employee's level of education, which is essential for the distribution of responsibility and authority to employees. The employee's personality certainly influences the design of the components, structure and tasks. There is a big difference whether we are dealing with independent employees who want to work, or with employees who only goes to work to make money as easy as possible. The buildings and their interior. Here we start in the component technology. But it will quickly affect the component people. Since a new arrangement of desks affects the employees. The component structure will probably also be affected as new buildings and interior design will require a new communication and organizational structure. New company cars. Again we start in the component technology. It quickly affects the component people, because those receiving the new company cars hopefully will be more satisfied. The problem is just that those who do not get a new car will maybe be a little bit disappointed. So the manager is going to work a lot more with the employees in the component people when persuading new cars than with the component technology. You can benefit from using Levitt's model. Imagine that you are a leader who must have your organization to work optimally. It requires that you continually make adjustments. Since there always occurs changes somewhere in the organization. These can come from surroundings, as well as from within the organization. You must imagine that you are standing in the middle of the model and is a form of agent of change. You must balance the organization. You must take care of the changes in each of the components and how this affects the other components. Now follows a criticism of the model. The model does not take into account that there often are more changes in progress at the same time and there is no priorities in the changes in the order of importance. However, it is recommended to use the model 
so you don't overlook one of the components.